Gundam session. This is now part 7 of my whip update for the Perfect Grade Gundam GPO one Now, as you can see on this video, I've got a lot of pieces in front of me. And they were all the pieces that were in this box that I showed you on the end of the part 6 whip update. So it's been a busy week and a half doing the armour and then the frame. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down this video into three parts, this being the first part. Merge it all together, so what you'll get is in a second or in a few minutes you'll see the leg built with no armour on, so it's just its frame. And then third part, again built but with the armour on, so you get a good idea of how it looks and the work that I've done. For a minute though, I'm just going to show you what I've done with the frame, and I've done same using the Humbrol Maskell again, similar how I did the shield, but what I've done is I've done the reverse, so where I had the gunmetal as the frame, and the stainless steel on the inside, I've done the opposite way around, so I've got the stainless steel frame and the gunmetal on the inside, inside this time, uh, with the gold uh, screw marks and um, or gr gold screws and detailed areas and again for the pistons and so on and so forth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get cracking and I'll be back in a few minutes speak to you all soon hi guys right I'm back I've done a bit of building, as you can see. So this is now his leg without his armour on, <coughs> showing just his frame. Gone together pretty well. I've had no real issues. The only one real issue I had, and it wasn't due to the paint as much, but more to do with this, this piece here. For some reason it seemed to have warped a little bit and it shrank inwards. So as I've gone to put it on, it's had to foot it's, it's pushed out a little bit as I put it on, which is fine. It hasn't broken anything on this particular piece. However, inside here, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, there is a set of pistons. And they snapped. Uh due to the pressure that this piece was putting on it. And that was the only downfall I had to it. The rest of it's gone together fine. I'm going to probably tack that a little bit at the top there with a bit of glue because um, there doesn't seem to be any pins in there to hold it together which is strange. But apart from that like I said it's gone together really really well and it's come out really really nice and um, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I don't know what you guys think but if you if you do like it feel free to comment and what I'll do next is I'll get cracking with the build and finish off putting the armour on and then I'll do another quick view of the leg when it's fully done. See you in a second. Hi everyone and we're back. So I've got all the armour fitted now and this is how it's turned out. I'm very very happy with it. The only issue I had whilst putting on the armour was where some of the connection points are as you connect them together. I had to scrape away a bit of the prime in the paint just to get it to fit nice and snug. Apart from that he's gone together pretty well and he's all working, he all moves as you can see. There's nothing scraping away and he all opens up. It's a little bit stiff but that's used the paint which I'm not too fussed about because once he's all built, he's just going to be in a pose and he's not really going to be changed that often. So, um, we can just get the panel open here. Like I said, a little bit stiff, but they do come open. There we go. So, obviously both the sides open up and the back piece opens up. And then when you strip down his armour, this bit can come off so you can change him over to the FB mode. But apart from that, that's all there is really to it. So, what I'm going to do next up is going to be the other leg. I'm not going to do a whip video on that. 
because it's just going to be the same as what I've done here. However, what I'm going to do is probably throw in a tutorial, which I've been asked to do one on decals and clear coats that I use for applying decals. So that'll be done whilst I'm doing the process of the armour for the left leg. For now though guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy the work. If you do, feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. And also, feel free to leave comments and let me know what you think. For now though guys, that's everything and I'll catch you all soon. Try for now.